there's a very there's a very detailed itemized budget that we put together uh, prior to soliciting this money from Congress. I could tell you that a half to two thirds of the money off, uh, will go to personnel costs because we have to bring in thousands of police officers from other jurisdictions to work the convention. We'll have to house them and we'll also have to feed them as well. So that's where the majority of the money will go. And then some equipment, technology, et cetera. But we have a very uh, uh, inventory breakdown. Um, I'm sure we can. It's, it's not for public consumption right now because there's a lot of security mm -hmm. details that would be in the budget that would could impact their, uh, our security plan. Well, maybe some kind of like an outline where you take out anything that might be, you know. I'm sure we could facilitate that. Yeah, just just so we have a general idea. There's huge there's appropriations. And then, I guess what I was wondering is, um, how, are the, how is the, the spending, I understand that most of it, half to two thirds, you said, is for personnel. but. The other um, amounts, what are the, are there some kind of restrictions on what you can spend it on? Yes. Because we, you know, we heard, we heard and have been pressured in the past, the, the Canyon ban, we talked so much about um, arrest diversion, about homeless shelters, homeless services and all that, and I was wondering if there is any way that we could access some of this grant money um, for the safety of our um, and, and services for those people who you know make it safer for this, this, this opportunity, all of this um, grant federal grant money. I'm just wondering if there's any way we can use that. Well all of this fifty million dollar federal grant is specifically for security for the Republican National Convention. All the purchases will be monitored through the Department of Justice, the Bureau of Justice Administration. Every purchase we make will have to get permission from them. And in the long term, at the end, they will audit us and make sure we spent the money properly. Um, I can tell you that $50 million may not even be enough. We originally sketched a $55 million budget, but we were only appropriated $50 million, so we had to scale down from that. And like I said, a lot of the personnel costs those personnel costs can only be predicted. They can't be actual, uh, uh, actual because we don't know what's going to happen during the days of the convention. If we have incidents that require us to keep staffing, when you're talking about 4,000 police officers that need to be stay a couple hours extra, then you're looking at a lot of money. So we're not going to buy a lot of equipment with this money, and I, uh, I, I'm pretty sure, sure that the money couldn't be used for a homeless shelter. Absolutely. We have grant guidelines, and they're for security purposes. Okay. But we'll look into that. Yeah, I mean, it might be, it might be worth it. And then, um, number 13, I, I just personally found my kind of trouble.